Among the recent economic uncertainties, there's a lot of good news to be found. The median income has been rising over the years, with some notable states making more money than ever. Have you ever wondered where your state ranks? The last decade was full of ups and downs. Some states have fared better than others. We certainly can't rank love, friends, or health, but we can measure how much people make. And of course, how many states are currently employed. Sometimes a prosperous state doesn't mean the best state. If you give a state a dozen tech millionaires, chances are the cost of living and owning homes will go up alongside. As of 2021, the face of finances has changed quite a lot, but these 10 states are making big moves, even if not everyone can live in a fancy home in the hills. Before we begin, be sure to hit the like button to help us out. Now, here are 12 of the richest states in America. 12. Minnesota Minnesota enjoys the 21st most populous statehood and a higher than average median income rate of $71,306. They have remarkably high rates of education, which may be a leading factor making it the 12th most prosperous state in the country. They also have the fourth lowest unemployment rate. A shocking 34.7% of adults living in the state are college educated, at least with a bachelor's degree. These facts can absolutely contribute to the higher income levels. Low poverty rates, low unemployment rates, and high incomes make it an incredibly prosperous state. This isn't even including the fact that purchasing a home may only cost on average $209,800, which is lower than the national average of $291,700. That fact alone could make all the difference in the lives of people looking to settle down. 11. Utah with a median household income of $71,621, they have the 12th lowest poverty rate and sit at about $7,000 higher than the national average income. They have low unemployment, a significantly lower amount than the rest of the country at that, and the lowest occurrences of income inequality as well. The average home value in Utah on average is $329,900, making it higher than average, but not as high as some other states. It's in large part offset by the absurdly low unemployment rate of just 3.5%. 10. Colorado An absolute leader in employment sectors, Colorado has massive trade, transportation, and utility opportunities. The median household income is around $72,331. They've been on the rise for quite a while now, as people are less dependent on programs and their unemployment rate has dropped. It might be expensive to live there, but it's a place that's absolutely booming with opportunity which unquestionably helped earn it a spot on this list. There's so much to do in Colorado, from snowboarding to backpacking. It's perfect if you're looking for somewhere to grow professionally and be active in too. It may cost you something of $488,600 to own a home in Colorado, but it's offset by the other benefits you might get from living somewhere like here. 9. Washington With big-name players like Amazon calling Washington home, Incomes have risen, and so is the cost of living. This P&W dream has been on the rise for quite some time, but so is the cost of living. This state is home to some of the most expensive houses globally, with a median home value of $385,800, which bumps it up 5.6% from 2018's numbers. Luckily, the household income is $73,775, with a growing job market and vital industry. Can't go wrong there. 8. Virginia Virginia has a remarkably high number of residents with at least a bachelor's degree or higher. This fact places Virginia among six states with the highest percentage of college degrees having adults. It can cost somewhere around $307,964 to own a home in Virginia, which is not far off from the national average in all actuality. Many households earn $200,000 or more, and a lower than average number is earning $10,000 per year. Not only that, but it also has a healthy job market and some of the lowest unemployment rates. There's no question Virginia makes it onto the list, especially with its median income of $74,222. Virginia is also home to the country's wealthiest counties, Arlington, Fairfax, and Loudoun. The city of Fairfax has the lowest among the five, still sitting at a very comfortable $177,000 median income. 7. California the Golden State can easily boast the largest economy in the U.S., with a gross state product of nearly $3 trillion. While there's plenty of places to live in California, something for just about everyone, it's also one of the most expensive places to live. Top it all off with California's median household income of $75,235, and it's definitely more comfortable than not. There are tons of opportunities for those who seek them out, 
And between tourism, trade, agriculture, media, and technology, chances are you'll find something that suits your needs. While some of the wealthiest people in the country live there, California does struggle with high unemployment and poverty rates. It's nearly twice as expensive to own a home. All of this makes it difficult for the average person to make ends meet, or in some cases afford goods and services within the day. California's San Mateo and Santa Clara counties were respectively fifth and fourth wealthiest in the country, with household incomes of $122,000 and $124,000, according to available census data from 2015 to 2019. We're now halfway through our video. If you're still with us, comment on the dollar and American flag emoji below. 6. New Hampshire This teeny tiny state has the lowest poverty rate in the entire country and some of the lowest unemployment. With a median income of $76,768, New Hampshire specializes in dairy, cattle, apples, and eggs. They might be quaint, but clearly they're doing something right. Being comfortable is vital, even if you don't end up with a dozen fancy cars. Something is charming about the humility there, like they're doing very well, but there's no need to show off. On average, it costs somewhere around $357,000 to own a home in New Hampshire, shockingly low for the high quality of living. Chances are, if you don't work on a farm, you work in higher education and healthcare. This is evidenced by more than 18% of the total 636,500 non-farm workforces working there as of January 2021. 5. Connecticut The Constitution State is actually 1 to 4 of the 25 wealthiest towns in America. If that gives you any indication, as that ties it with California. They have the highest concentration of millionaires in the whole country, all situated in the Bridgeport, Stamford, Norwalk area. The average household income is 78,444. They have the sixth lowest poverty rate and a higher than average college education rate. There aren't many people who live there, but that makes these numbers all the more impressive. With several critical employers in consumer goods and pharmaceuticals operating in Connecticut, like Pfizer, Amazon, and Duracell, there's no question where that comes from. In Connecticut, it could cost $318,096 to own a house in the ballpark, though it does admittedly change seasonally. 4. Hawaii Hawaii, no question, makes this list, with an average household income of $81,275 per year. They have a robust job market and plenty of work opportunities between agriculture and tourist attractions and year-round travel. However, Hawaii does struggle with other things. The cost of living due to being an island is absurdly high, and they do have a lot of people living below the poverty line. Many basic needs like food are wildly more expensive due to import costs, similar to what Australia deals with. While some people make good money living in Hawaii, and Hawaii is very rich on paper, it's a weird backward kind of rich. In the last year, Hawaii has gone up nearly 16.6% in terms of home prices, putting them in the range of $777,762 on average to own a home in this sunny tourist spot, though it was as high as $992,500 in mid-August. 3. Massachusetts With the 15th highest population, Massachusetts sits at a very comfortable $82,215 per year for the median household income. It may cost a bit higher than average to own a home in Massachusetts close to 407,700 on average. However, you'll also be living in the state with the 24th lowest unemployment rate and the 14th lowest poverty rate. They have 7 million people and have the highest number of residents per capita with bachelor's degrees. When you compare Massachusetts to even its surrounding states, the correlation of education to higher paying jobs and higher income levels is evident. In addition to their booming education industry, they also lead in financial services, healthcare, and technology. So, much like other states on this list, there are plenty of opportunities to kick off a comfortable career if you can move to the Bay State. 2. New Jersey One of the highest populations in the country, with a population of over 9 million people, New Jersey has a median household income of $82,545. It has tons of leading biotech firms, like Johnson & Johnson & Merck. While it's not the highest on the list, it would cost quite a bit to own a home in New Jersey – $408,517 on average, which makes sense due to how close it is to New York City. The close proximity to the Big Apple means many of the millionaires who live there often commute to their fancy city finance jobs in the Big Apple. All this adds up to make New Jersey one of the most expensive places in the country to buy a home. That might be worth it if you get to take advantage of all the perks, like low unemployment and poverty rates. You're nearly at the end of our video. We're on a mission to explore all of Earth's amazing destinations. Make sure you're subscribed. That way you'll always be notified of our latest videos. 1. Maryland 
In 2017, Maryland boasted that they had the highest number of millionaires per capita, with their population just peaking over 6 million people. This mid-Atlantic state is the 19th most populous state. In fact, Howard County, with a median household income of more than $121,000, was ranked the seventh wealthiest in the nation. One major factor in how rich this state is, is that nearly 18% of the state's 2.6 million non-farm workers work in government, making them very comfortable. Government workers are some of the highest paid workers in the nation, which definitely raises their median household income by $84,805, higher than it might have been otherwise. The median home price varies depending on where you live, but on average sits at about $433,000. Not the highest in the nation, but definitely not the lowest. After measuring every factor of wealth that can possibly make sense, we have to conclude that no one region is the wealthiest. These states are all across the country though their highest concentration is on the eastern seaboard. It does make sense if you think about it. That's where many of the colonies and their families took root early on. In most of these states, however, a lot of people have made it financially. There's a higher volume of new homes, new cars and bright futures, as well as plenty of opportunities to grow. Living in a wealthy state does come with its own costs, like more work, a higher cost of living and competition. Sometimes though, that's worth the trouble, and plenty of people would kill to live in places like this despite the fact. Hey. Thanks for watching. Want to suggest a video or have something to say? Let us know in the comments section below. Check out our provinces and states playlist for more videos like this one.